Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, what I want to talk about now is not me. <laughs> I want to talk about you. And uh, what I want to talk about is your beliefs. Uh, it's, it's funny. I deal with all kinds of people. But like I say, that's another thing. My whole life, I haven't been running around my whole life. Now I run around a lot. Uh, but I haven't always been like that. Uh, matter of fact, I started uh, running probably about 52 years old, 53 years old. So it was probably about, uh, about almost, you know, maybe 12, 13 years ago now I started running around. And that's where I really... Uh, before that, I met a lot of people because I've owned businesses. And, but the businesses, the, the people came to my business. I was in my environment. Uh, now, uh, I say I'm in other people's environments. I'm in their comfort zones. And so I see them uh, in their natural habitat. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's funny because what I've what I've learned is people they really do live the way they believe now they might talk and in some cases they will act a certain way um, that's what I was saying talking about the, the religious uh, aspect uh, the religion is part of a social environment so you act a certain way uh, in a religious uh, type environment that's not necessarily what you believe that is the way you act now that the way you act doesn't necessarily apply just to your religion. Uh, it's, it's the same thing, uh, uh, police, uh, military, uh, gangs. Uh, anytime you socialize, uh, you tend to act a certain way. And the way these people, uh, I mean, uh, the environment that they put together is what makes them act this way. In other words, if you're a criminal, they all act like bad at, well, not all of them, but uh, the, because uh, you know, I'm in the violent part, so I, I think more of the violent type criminals. But anyway, uh, when we're, we're going to use the violent type, uh, criminal type uh, atmosphere where they intimidate each other. They practice intimidating. They, uh, you know, they'll get in each other's face and stuff like that. And this is to give, get them uh, the practice they need when they go out and they victimize people. So, uh, it, but it's, it's the same thing applies. What they're doing is doing what they believe. In other words, what I'm saying is people really do live their lives the way they believe. So, uh, it doesn't make any difference who you are or what you say. You know, if you say, okay, like, like here, down here, the uh, majority are, are Catholics. So they say they're Catholics. And, uh, you know, even on Sunday, they might go to Mass and they will, uh, um, at that particular time, act or project uh, their, their Catholic beliefs. But uh, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to live their beliefs. And that's what I'm talking about. I have learned that people live 100% of their beliefs. So you can say one thing, I'm a Catholic, that's what you say. But your actions is not exactly what you say you are. 
And, uh, and that's another reason why you hear me say, my God is uh, my uh, uh, spiritual or my religious type beliefs, this type of stuff is, is mine. <laughs> it really is. And uh, I don't try to bring other people, you know, you have to believe like me. No. That's not, to me, uh, that's not the way to better yourself. Now, I want, I want you to believe in whatever it is that you need to believe in to improve yourself. And by the way you improve yourself is in, by improving your morals and uh, gaining strength in your morals. We've talked about that, moral strength. Uh, you, can, you can say you believe in stuff, but when the pressure is on, you're not going to be able to do it unless you truly believe it. And that's why I want you to truly believe in yourself. Try to improve you. And the way you do that is, like I say, uh, focus on what you believe to be the good thing, doing the moral thing. Focus on that. And by doing that, yeah, like I say, you're, you're no different than anybody else. You're acting. You're focusing. You're acting on it. But when you focus and act on something that you want to do, that you believe is right, it's easier to stand by that. And once you, you're standing by that and standing by that no matter what, and people pressure you from that kind of stuff, and you choose not to go along with uh, the majority, the majority says, well, you need to, uh, uh, you need to pay your taxes. You need to follow the law. That's what the majority says. And you believe that uh, your tax dollars is being spent on um, corruption and immoral acts, so you refuse to do it, that's one thing. Uh, you're standing by your beliefs. Uh, now, it'd be the same thing, following the law. Uh, you can't follow immoral and unconstitutional laws. To me, that's just a, a moral um, understanding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, for me to do this is immoral. You're asking me to do something that I don't believe is right. And uh, it's funny because even in the Marines, we had no obligation to follow immoral laws and unconstitutional laws. Now, maybe the military's changed since I was in there. I doubt it. But, uh, like I say, if I was ordered to do something immoral or unconstitutional, I was under no, no commitment to follow that order. Now, if that's the case, in the United States Marine Corps, I am sure it's the same thing when you're walking the streets of the United States. When the police tell you to do uh, an immoral or an unconstitutional law, you are under no, uh, no commitment to do it. If you choose to do it, the way I see it, you just did something immoral. But that's my beliefs. And like I say, I live by my beliefs. You will live by your beliefs. So if your belief says, I can go on and do it because I've been told to do that, you will go on and do it. It's no problem. That's what you believe. But that also tells me that you don't have any kind of moral strength. But 
we will do what we believe. We will live and we will die by our beliefs. And it's none of my business. I don't really care. Unless your beliefs cross the line on my beliefs. And you put me not only in an immoral situation where you're asking me to do something immoral or if you're putting me in a physical danger. It, it, you know, I don't play those kind of games. I just don't do it. So when you ask me to do something immoral, really, uh, my life could be in danger, physical danger. Uh, morally, I'm not saying being moral, you're not going to be in physical danger. I'm not saying that. Uh, because a lot of times I stand for my morals because, like I say, I have moral strength. And it does put me in danger, physical danger. Not Being morally right isn't the easy way out. It's the morally way to do things. But you will you and everyone lives by their beliefs. They might say something, they might, on Sunday mornings, they might act one certain way, but it's not that way. They will believe, they will live the way they believe. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.